I'm David Wall, um, a soil scientist and soil fertility expert from Johnstown Castle, Chagas Johnstown Castle in County Wexford. And today I'm going to talk about soil fertility, refueling grass growth. Soil fertility is of critical importance for grass-based dairy farmers as they will need to uh, continuously grow grass throughout the year to feed the dairy herd. Currently, uh, our soil samples taken from uh, through the Chagas system shows that approximately 12% of soil samples submitted through the system are currently optimal for growing grass growth in terms of pH, P and K. So in essence only one in ten soil samples approximately is set up to grow grass growth um, and that's a worrying trend. We can see here from soil samples that pH is a major problem. Uh, approximately 60% of dairy farms are currently uh, suboptimal in soil pH. The target pH for mineral soils is 6.3 and uh, the majority of samples are, are uh, below that. In terms of phosphorus being the next one, approximately 50% of the soil samples coming through are low in phosphorus. Phosphorus is critical for early grass growth, it's criti critical for spring growth, and also very important in terms of grass reseeding. Potassium, very important through uh, dry weather as we're having now in the summer, uh, critical importance for silage production and silage crops have the potential to take off uh, high amounts of potassium that needs to be replaced. I suppose the, 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 uh, of, of critical importance, where a farmer is applying P plus lime in combination, then you really see the benefits. Here we're moving four or five soil test indexes um, and we're getting the additive benefit of unlocking the P in the soil and also uh, higher efficiency of the freshly apply, applied P and you can see here we're moving the, the soil test P value up to 18, 19 uh, parts per million. In terms of silage also you need to replace uh, what's been taken off. Silage has the potential to uh, take off uh, in terms of a first cut 20 kilograms of P and 125 kilograms of K and this is very important, 125 kilograms of K is a, is a, a massive amount of potash. Um, the cheapest way to get that back is probably slurry. So 3,000 gallons of slurry uh, will apply approximately all the P that's required and most of the K. So slurry is a very good fertilizer to be returned back to the silage ground. In terms of a second cut, that also needs to be fertilized and uh, here you will need about 10 kilograms of K and or P and 35 kilograms of K uh, to replace that offtake. And then I suppose the bottom line, uh, the economics of it, increasing soil fertility to produce more grass, it will cost money. However, there is a, a huge return to be, to be made. In terms of building soil uh, um, P and K, it'll cost approximately 100 euro per hectare. Now, that seems like a, a, a large amount of money, However, if you have to replace the grass that you don't produce with concentrate feed, the return on that grass is up to 400 euro. So in, 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 in essence, the return on investment is at least four to one in terms of building soil fertility. However, it is important that you utilize that extra grass to reap that full benefit in terms of either carrying more stock or to use less concentrate feed.